Hi, this is Matt with LSAT Cracked. In this lesson, we're going to discuss an extremely important question stem category. It's the flaw family question stem. So the idea is there's about 20 or so different flaw families that you need to know reasonably well to do well on flaw question stems. Now, theoretically, if you had just razor sharp logic and you had no prior exposure to these flaw families, you certainly could get the answer correct. You would evaluate the argument, i.e. find the conclusion, explain to yourself why this set of premises does not necessarily lead to this conclusion, and you'd be able to, through process of elimination, be able to eventually find the right answer choice. However, because on a lot of flaw questions they use the same types of flaw descriptions over and over and over again, and because what is the wrong answer choice on one answer choice may very well be the correct way of describing a different well-known type of flaw on another question, it really pays to learn them well, kind of like vocabulary flashcards. If you see an overgeneralization happening, you want to be able to, one, notice that a flaw is happening, two, be able to quickly pair it in your mind to the idea of, oh, that's an overgeneralization, and then three, know a reasonable range of the different ways the LSAT writers have historically chosen to describe an overgeneralization flaw. So essentially, when we go over these next 20 flaws or so, you're going to notice that we describe the flaw so that you really understand what's going on, but then we also discuss a few different ways that flaw can be described. It's about making sure you analytically understand what's going on, and that you also have the familiarity and the recognition of spotting both the flaw and the way that it's described in the answer choices. This will both improve your accuracy on selecting the correct answer choice, as well as being able to recognize other flaws that you know are definitely not happening in the stimulus and be able to quickly and precisely and confidently eliminate them in the answer choices. It's gonna improve both your speed and your accuracy.